surprise. When he announced his retirement, I'm sure most of us knew Dave Allen was going to be back, even though he sounds like he boxes like he probably shouldn't be back, he probably should retire in my opinion. He's starting to slur his speech. We all saw the sparring footage with Usyk. Yeah, that was ugly. The guy was snoring on his feet. And the stories he told afterwards, yeah, those were scary to hear. He was talking about. He said, <laughs> he said from the from like the the last few rounds he did with Usyk, he could not remember anything of those rounds until he was packing his bags, getting ready to to head head home or head to his hotel. And yeah, he was telling us a whole bunch of scary stories like, oh, I don't want to get hit anymore, blah, blah, blah. This was uh, about 18 months ago when he announced his quote unquote retirement. But yeah, we all, well, I don't know about you guys, but when I was listening to him speak back then, I knew, yeah, regardless of how um, how dangerous the sport sounds for you at this point, and you, yeah, Dave, you're going to be back. You'll be back at some point. What's shocking to me? of the whole situation what's shocking is the fact that it took this long 18 months i'm surprised it's been out for that long but friday on a dennis hobson card in sheffield we've got dave the white rhino island going up against andrea pesci i don't think you could pronounce the name as pesci he can't be pesky he's got to be pesci five foot nine 36 year old italian heavyweight pesci is seven and 13 free draws two KOs, four losses by KO, so Allen should be looking to stop this guy. Yeah, let's actually check out what Allen had to say in regards to his um, quote-unquote comeback and this, this fight. If you can class this as a fight, I'm, I think it's just a run out for Dave, You're just trying to see, test the waters, see what it's got left. Let's check out what he had to say, he goes, I've probably trained harder for this fight on Friday than I have for every fight in my career, apart from the Lucas Brown fight. That's one thing with this Dave Allen guy as well. I'm just gonna pause him there for a second. He always wants credit for training, and then every time he comes and tells us, "Oh, I didn't really train the last fight." Whenever he comes, he says, "Oh, I've trained so hard." Now he's telling us he's trained hard. After the fight, he's gonna tell us he didn't train at all. He always does this. Always does it. Oh, so when do you ever train? Well, I guess just only for the Lucas Brown fight, right? Even the, the David Price fight, which in my opinion was a bigger fight than the Lucas Brown fight. Even though Brown was a quote-unquote former world champion, I felt the, the David Price was a, would have been a better win on um, on Allen CV than the Lucas Brown win. He apparently did not train for that fight. According to Dave Allen, he did not take that fight seriously, and they were still chucking him on pay-per-views. Well, <laughs> he didn't he didn't see another pay-per-view after that card, but still, he was going on pay-per-views, pay-per-view cards consistently, and he'll come back and tell us, "Oh, I never trained for the previous fight." Like, come on, the nerve, the nerve of the you. Anyways, back to Dave Allen and what he had to say. He goes, I'm in the gym four or five times a day. Because I'm in the gym twice myself and I train my amateur boxers, I've definitely matured and to be a good trainer and a good manager, I realize now I am the leader. I need to be in good shape and be professional. I think over the years, I've definitely matured a lot. Things are different now. I'm not trying to be a boxing world champion. I'm not trying to be a superstar, I'm just trying to give back to boxing and I think I'm doing just that. To be honest, I don't know what's left. I'm a bit older, I've got a few miles on the clock, probably a bit more sensible. I'm probably not the same man that I once was, without a care in the world and I just wanted to fight everybody. However, I'm in great physical shape and if the hunger and everything is still there, when the going gets tough, I could surprise a few people down the line, but just getting back into the ring will be a win for me. There's a lot of opportunities out there for me and the money's great, but I've got a bit of pride. I won't be seen flat on my back for a few quid, not a chance. So it'll be a fight by fight basis. If there's zero left on Friday, you won't be seeing me again. I'm coming back into boxing because the level I'm boxing at, I can definitely win and compete. But if I feel like the next step from that, I won't be able to compete and win, you won't see me again. 
I'm hoping there's something left, but I guess until I get in there, I won't know. Yeah, I guess he's trying to knock about a couple of these journeymen and see what's up with some sort of um, Alan Babbage fight, for example, which is a fight I'd love to see because they're both comfort fighters and they're both very <laughs> prideful men. So, yeah. <laughs> Who's going to get left flat on his back in that fight? That would be an in Even the build up to that fight would be very entertaining with. They've both, um, they've, they've both got a gift of the guy, both of them. There's quite a few of them. Apart from Babish, you can get in there. We've, we've got, um, got Wardley, we've got a Webb rematch. Even the Webb's been knocked out again, but you know, um, Allen's on a comeback trail. You might want to give Webb a run out. They, they, they've talked, they've flirted with that rematch. I think Webb wants it. I'm not, I'm not sure about Allen, but now Allen's on a comeback trail, like I just said. You might fancy the web rematch, why not? Who else we've got in that little there's, there's quite a few of them in that in that little bubble in the UK. We've got who else? Um Nathan Gorman, he can fight Gorman. Got Cash Ali. I actually think Cash Ali fought on the same um on this fight zone situation Allen's connected with. His his last fight he picked up some belt. I can't recall what belt that was. He picked up some belt against a guy he, he went up or got crazy in that fight he looked good cash Ali looked good in that fight yeah he picked up some sort of belt in this fight something so uh, an allen and cash Ali fight wouldn't be that far-fetched they're both under the same banner at the moment well working with the same people at the moment so why not that's an interesting fight yeah there's quite a few of them in that british stroke european level UK based heavyweight, you, they can just, I reckon they should all just fight each other, all these names I've mentioned, there's a few of them I've left out, but they should just all get in the ring together man, we've got a, quite an interesting scene going on here. But that's not really the, the purpose of this video to be honest with you, I was more concerned that this guy's back again after snoring on his feet and slurring his speech, it doesn't sound like he belongs in a, in a boxing ring. I remember watching a card of a card he was um, doing punditry work on one of these cards he's fighting on. He, he, he normally does punditry work for them. I think it's Fight Zone they're called. Fight Zone, I think that's their name. They usually have the the prelims to these cards on YouTube, and I, I normally catch just the prelims. I, I, I don't, I don't. Come on, yeah. I usually watch some of these fights on YouTube, and he does punditry work. He does commentary as well. He the guy slurs his speech extremely bad very bad so a lot of people have been saying please don't return to the ring please don't box again that's the main issue it's not about him being fit or him taking boxing seriously it's about the snoring against Usyk and uh, the slurring the speech that's what it's about and he sounded extremely concerned about his his health when he retired so you you had me concerned too I'm still concerned so other people a bunch of other people so are we supposed to just forget the interviews you did? Are we supposed to forget you said you were paralyzed in your hands and feet after you fought David Price? Combined with a fighting style of just, you know, come forward, taking a bunch of punches. That's not um, sustainable. That's not sustainable. Haven't you bought enough houses? You know he loves a house. Eddie Hearn was talking about, oh, Dave Allen's bought a new house now. Ain't we paid for enough houses already? I do love, love, I love watching him fight, I love his fighting style, I love seeing guys take punches, you know, but if you're gonna slur your speech and you're gonna be, oh, good, good shot, good shot, good shot, he knows it's a good shot, he hit you with it, what are you telling him it's a good shot, he, he, you're barely awake, he, he, you don't even know if it's a good shot, you know something hit you, that's, <laughs> anyways, that's not, that's not the point, that's not the point, well, I'm concerned about your, hurt, your health, Dave, I'm concerned. I don't know about this comeback, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? You guys let me know. I want to do your opinion on David Allen's career, his fighting style, the snoring against Usyk, the slurring the speech. What do you make of all of that and him coming back again? Let me know. Thoughts in the comment section as usual. Subscribe to me around here. Give me that like as usual. Notification bell have that on so you know exactly what's going on up here. Twitter question marks UK. I'm out.